In today's video, I will be showing you how to enable CPU virtualization in your PC or laptop's BIOS. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video if it helped you and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I know a lot of you are watching our videos but you're not subscribing and every subscribe really does help us produce more content. The first thing you need to do is restart your computer if you are already in Windows or if you don't have your computer on at all you need to turn it on. And then the next thing you need to do is keep pressing the delete key on your keyboard or press F11. Depending on what motherboard you have or BIOS will depend on which key you need to press. But it will normally say on the welcome screen when it first boots up. As you can see on my screen it says I need to press the delete key to enter the setup. So it might not actually say BIOS for you, it might say setup, just keep an eye out for either one of those words. And once you have entered into the BIOS, as you can see on my screen at the moment, I currently have my MSI BIOS. This is for the B450 Tomahawk Max. So the first thing you would need to do if you had this motherboard is press F7 to enter into the advanced mode. Normally to enable virtualization on your CPU you do have to enter into the advanced mode. Once you are on the advanced mode you then need to click on OC which is the overclocking settings and you then need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on CPU features. If you don't have an option that says CPU features it could also be under CPU configuration or miscellaneous settings. Once you have entered into the CPU features the next thing you are going to be looking for is SVM mode. As you can see on my screen at the moment it says it's currently disabled. You need to go ahead and press enter to select it and then select enable. Once you have pressed enabled you then need to exit out of the BIOS and save it. If you don't have an option that says SVM mode then you might have something that says virtualization technology or it might even say Intel virtualization technology depending on what CPU you have. So basically you just want to look for something that says virtualization or if you can't see anything at all that says virtualization like mine it just says SVM. Go through all the settings and normally on the right hand side or somewhere within the BIOS it will tell you what each setting enables. So go through and find a setting that says virtualization and then go ahead and enable it. Once you have enabled it like I said exit out of your BIOS make sure you save the changes when you exit restart your computer and then you will have virtualization enabled on your CPU. I will now also quickly show you the settings on my old motherboard. So as you can see on the screen at the moment this is what it used to look like. This is the first display screen. I had to go into intelligent tweaker and you then need to enter into miscellaneous settings and once you're in there as you can see it says virtualization technology and you then need to enable that. And that is how you'd enable it on my older motherboard BIOS. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.